The fans attach to the inside of this shroud or cover. And I actually want to point out later why I have two white connectors while you'll have one white and one black. Over here are the modified wires. This will be important for providing the appropriate power to the fans. You need both of the fans, four plastite screws, and both of your fan extension wires, although my beta kit only had one. Your second extension probably has three pin connectors. To attach the fans to the shroud, you're actually going to feed the screws through the outside here. So you're going to take a plastite screw, put it through each of these holes. You're going to have one fan up top and one fan below. The fans go on the inside of this shroud or cover. The stickers should face you on the inside. If you flip it around the wrong way, the air actually goes in the wrong direction. And my fans are a little different than the official kit. My beta kit came with two fans with white two pin connectors. You should have one fan that is black and looks like a three pin connector. That fan goes in the top spot. And when you position the fans, you want the wires headed up towards the top. They actually can be routed through this little hole here. And the other fan, which for you should just be the white connector, you should only have one white connector fan, that'll go on the bottom spot. Place a plastite screw in each of these four openings. These hold the two fans in place. Remember that plastite screws thread the opening they go into, so you will notice a little bit of resistance as you tighten them. My plastite screws were a Torx tip. You may have to use a Torx tip. If not, use whatever tip is appropriate for your plastite screws. Again, look at the inside. You should see the stickers facing you on the inside. Both the wires should be headed towards the top. And you do want to make sure, since you'll have the black connector on one of your fans, that should be the top fan. Because I have a beta kit and the fans are identical, I have a little splitter that brings it down to one connector and then uses extension to connect it to the printer board. Well, you have two extensions, and I don't want to show you how to do something that won't be relevant to you. So I hacked together my own second extension. I took some wires off my PrinterBot Makers kit from last year, and I made my own three pin connector. This way I can show you how it actually works for the official kit. Here are the two extensions. One's a two pin connector, one's a three pin. The two pin is fine just as is. One side is two little prongs, the other side is the two pin white connector here. Just set this one aside, you don't need to make any modifications. Now the one with the three pin connector you will modify. My other side of this is not the same as yours because I did hack this together. Just pay attention though to the white side, this is the side that we're actually going to modify. Your goal is to release this red wire from the three pin connector. You just need to peel up this little foot here. Just pull it back a tiny bit, and then you can release this wire. Now, you should use a tiny little screwdriver, but in case you don't have one, I'm going to show you how I took a paper clip, bent a leg, and now I can actually pull this up. So, the trick is really actually to get it in from the side. Get underneath that little leg, and pull the wire free. So, that black wire and connector, that's finished. We just need to focus on the red wire. The red wire is going to attach to the hot end power. So this is the piece I labeled earlier for the hot end power. It itself is an extension coming off of the hot end itself. Now this foot, you want to match the orientation. See how there's little feet coming off of here? So you want to point them in the same direction. And it's going to go in right next to the black wire. So you can actually just feed this straight through. And it's going to actually click in place when you get it all the way in there. So I can actually see the metal at the top now. I'm going to give a little bit of a tug and it doesn't come back out. It's now fully in place. Here are all the finished connectors. The hot end power connector now has two red wires. This connector has a lone black wire, and this one's entirely unmodified. I'm going to mark this one actually with an I. It goes into the plug ICSP on the printer board. And then this final one here, I'm going to mark this with an F because this is the normal fan connector on the printer board. Those modifications make it possible for these fans to act independently of each other. The top fan is intended to cool the hot end, while the bottom fan cools your print. So the top fan actually is connected now to the hot end power. This makes a lot of sense. The bottom fan will come on when it's appropriate to cool your print, while the top fan will pretty much be on all the time to cool the hot end. Now what's important is that we have all the modifications set, so whenever we go to connect this later, it'll already be ready.